Don't you think it's the most optimal system to have a woman staying at home with the kids? Yes. Absolutely. That's, that's the natural home. design. But once yeah. they go to school, what does she do? Well, that was my question, right? So why are we paying her child support again? What, because that, you make she stay does? Home with what the do you mean? Still? She doesn't put the kids to sleep. She doesn't feed them. She doesn't send them to school with stuff. Like <coughs> she, she doesn't cook your food. She doesn't so, them. She doesn't so, you're, she's them. like she doesn't an employee to you. I'll answer your questions. <laughs> so if you're, if you're sending your kids to school, they're going to school for eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. It's a huge block of your day where there's not kids around. That's one. Two, I'm not saying in the formative years that women don't put in a lot of work. They do, but it gets a lot easier for women as the kids get older. I mean, even by four, five, six, seven, right? They're going to school for most of the day. Women are not busting their asses anymore to take care of the kids. They're just not. It gets way easier for them. Men, on You're the other right. hand, still are. But they They're still working the 12s. Wait, They're still what? working the 16-hour days so that they can support the family. But people and now they have to do it even more they have to work even more hours if the woman's going to stay at home because now the system requires two incomes for you to survive. It sounds so like you have to extend your hours as a man most of the time. It sounds like you want the wife to stay at home and raise the children, but you're also holding it against her because you have to go to work. No, no one's holding it against yeah, her. Yeah, because you're like, oh, you, you're, you're not really doing anything. You just stay at home and I have to go to work No, I'm day, saying that so if, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, your my claim is it's not equally yoked. She's getting a, the better end of the bargain. So if you bring up what about her housework, et cetera, I'm saying she she's still gets the better, the better the she's still later. getting the way better end of the bargain. Later, but she has I, to put in way more. No, work she in the even beginning. gets it earlier. No, she does not. She I, does I agree too. with him on she this. Does. I'm sorry, but in the beginning when she has to raise the kids. Till for till what? Three? I, I will say I agree with you on this for one. Real? Yeah, so for four I years, think the woman she's needs to like be in the household. Oh, okay. How many kids do you have? They just want None. Hey, who here agrees with me who has kids? Well, I do. Oh, 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 well, but I want to. I want to put it. with kids agree. I want to put it in a context. I want to put it in a context. But don't aren't you businesswoman? Uh, yes, I am. But no. I want to put it in a context that empowers women, which is yes, women who get to stay home and raise their children while their husband works hard. That is a blessing. Absolutely. That, that is a blessing mm -hmm. to the woman. And I have been an entrepreneur my entire life. And four years ago, I lost everything I had worked for. And God gave me the gift of enjoying my children at home. And I didn't realize how incredibly empowering that was. And well, that was our did, natural role. And I will say this too as well, God because if I gift? don't keep talking, you're just gonna talk over everybody. I will also say this, child support started on this concept that, well, because I stayed home all of those formative years, I wasn't able to, this is when people got married at like 20, I wasn't able to go to college and build a career. And now if we get divorced, I don't have anything that I've done for myself except for these children. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying that's how child support started. But now women and men take yes. advantage of the system where they abuse and they hire the, the highest paid lawyer and yes. they, they want to get vindictive against their spouse. And they literally use government, which we shouldn't be using, to punish a spouse and get more money that they don't deserve or punish people and not to give them money that they do deserve. But I will say, again, women do not work as hard as men. Doing the dishes and the laundry and paying the bills and running errands I and raising your children is beautiful is. and it is a yeah. gift. But that's the job. Some men and, 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 mom. Some men and, mom. Men and women run empires together. But some if you're a stay-at-home mom, that's the job. I, yeah, I was a stay-at-home mom for nine years. Is. I think it's where women need to be. I think we need to be in the household. I think we need to be barefoot in the kitchen, raising our children, and I am now working. Um, I work with my husband and with Lindsay, but I, I, I don't agree with the, the child support and some, I mean, again, I think when you're taken, like Lindsay said, when it started, it was meant that way, it's a good thing, but at the same time, I feel like it should be completely off the table. We shouldn't even be discussing this. Why is divorce such a, at such a high rate? And then we wouldn't need to be having child support. I think yep. I saw a statistic that divorce was actually down from it's 1980. because fewer people are getting married. Oh. Yeah, no one gets married. That's Joe Biden's America. <laughs> I'm going to read a couple of chats here. We have Living, the Walmart brand, he Kiko, ain't it. Thank you, Living Facts. We have, uh, that's going to take a second. Living, thank you, man. Appreciate the messages. Thank you, everybody who's uh, super chatting <coughs> and uh, sending in some stream, Streamlabs messages. Appreciate it, guys. Like the video while you're watching. I'm just waiting for this next one to pull up. Hold on. Anthony Vasilotti. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Andrew, why blank on therapy? Yes, girl with glasses needs a reality check about what's important in life. My 
girlfriend of 15 years passed recently. Sorry to hear that. I raised two kids. I'm on my feet today thanks to my psychologist. Great. Good well, job, I don't Anthony. I think you would object to it in like someone who's no. trying to get over grieving. People who have Somebody's actual grieving. serious trauma, but women don't use therapy that same way. They'll use therapy for all sorts of Why bizarre Why do you generalize all generalize women it, under though. one oh, body? He does that. He does big that. statement to assume. <sighs> Not a big statement to assume. But I'm assuming wow. you're I'm going on. Is there statistics you that you have for that? Not only is there that statistics why? that we can cite for this, but we can look can at psychology itself. Psychology itself is a soft science. It's not a real science. It's a soft science. Just like the medical field, it's a soft science. And so we can't reproduce most of the data which is inside of psychology. We can't reproduce its massive reproduction crisis. So you don't believe in psychology? Stop talking, I'm almost done. Up to 70% of the studies can't be reproduced in psychology. Sociology is terrible with the same exact problem across the board. The question becomes, with psychology itself and psychologists, they're practicing a soft science. What are the benefits that you're getting from a psychologist that you wouldn't get from a buddy? You would say that they have some sort of scientific training. I would argue that if the science itself can't be reproduced, then it's not scientific at all. And they're basically just renting a buddy. That's the way that I view it. I think if you have a buddy, then there's a bias response that's I, coming. I disagree with you on the sense that psychology is like completely not worth even considering because you can't reproduce the science or whatever. Because I, I do think it has, sorry, <laughs> I do think it has basis in um, reality. But I do agree that obviously when you speak to a therapist, not every therapist is going to be a good one. Even if they have all their qualifications, they're still going to be able to, give, they're going to give you wrong information. Yep. There are a lot of, a lot of people who genuinely try therapy. They always will tell you that it's a matter of finding a good therapist. Sure, but this makes my point, the, you know, actually. So. Well, how could you how bit, can you judge so. <laughs> if a therapist is a good therapist or not if it's supposed to be a science but there's no scientific standard from which we can judge them other than maybe trial and error by results right <laughs> i've got a five star rating or i've got a three star rating well it's a so very the question I used to be hang on hang on almost done so the question becomes if we have no scientific standards you're calling yourself a scientist we know which ones are good and which ones are not good how do you know that it's a trial and error thing. A lot of it is is you find a therapist who works with you properly because they're able to understand you. Some therapists aren't good and some are. Some are good for certain people. Some are not good for other people. Some spe like specialize in certain fields mm -hmm. so that they're used to certain thought patterns and know how to address them accordingly. But it's a very it's a very nuanced thing. You so can't if just, it's like, just walk randomized into any and nuanced. I would argue it's back that you might be able to get the exact same results by just going to friend to friend I to would friend agree to friend with you as well, but until you find the right one. I would agree with that as well. However, you would probably need to find a very mature friend. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe an immature friend. After no, all, you have psychologists friend. who are 23, 24, 25, 26 years a, old. No, but um, that's that's what I'm saying. There are bad therapists out there. You don't right? know and if that makes them a bad therapist. Very, that's the problem. You could have a very, very mature friend who's who's able to understand certain behaviors and why people do neck. certain things. Mm -hmm. And they can sit down with you and talk sure. to you huh? and help you piece uh, it out. But there's no scientific rigorism. Okay. It doesn't... So, the, so judging it would <laughs> be basically, just basically judging it off of how you feel as a so result. So you just think the entire field of psychology is bogus? Of course. Okay, so then there's it's no a soft science. It, well, okay. it's a, if it's I a soft science so and it can't be reproduced, but there's what what could I use other than tales of people saying it's horrible and tales of people saying it's good? These are not scientific ways to evaluate that. There are certain that. archetypes that people fall into when it comes to their personalities because of certain, because of the way they were raised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop right now. She's talking. You guys were specifically instructed before the show, no fucking sidebar conversations. Please, kindly, if somebody's talking, don't have a sidebar conversation. It's rude to the audience and it's rude to her. Let her speak. Don't be fucking talking when she's talking. Go ahead. 